Stay tuned afterwards for the instructor's comments and summaries at the end of this lesson. Yep. All right, here's a little tip for you. If you're ever putting in these CV slides and they've shrunk on you, this one is not, it's, it's no big deal, but we could get the same principle here, is what you want to do is you want to slide the rubber diaphragm in this down position and try and get the slide in as much of the groove as possible. Then what I like to do is I'll take this little dowel pin, can you see that? and grind them off. I know that's breaking all the rules of OEM here, but we're talking about older bikes where you're struggling, okay? Then go ahead and get your slide started. And now without those dowel pins on there, can you see how it allows you to slide this back and forth? And then what it allows me to do is if I really think that I have the slide in all the places, it allows me to come over sideways and I could see here that I'm in the, I'm in the groove, right? Mm -hmm. And then I could go towards the bottom and I could verify that I'm in the groove. Anyway, I'd be able to do that on all, uh, on all, you know, all four sides, if you will, by being able to sneak that cover over, verifying it hasn't popped out. And then I can have full confidence to put my screws in. And then the ultimate test would be to go ahead and, uh, you know, move the slide itself, see that it springs down good. And then one last mm -hmm. test you could do would be to go ahead and figure out where the airport passage is to the bottom side of that rubber there and then make it work. Can you see that? Yep. Okay, so I only have the screws in and I could verify that I haven't pinched the slide. That's your tip on that. This last part of the video, I'm showing a, a trick that I came up with years ago on how to test the uh, actual actuation of the slide without putting it on the bike. And I've sh shown this in a couple of videos, and uh, it's not found in a service manual. Inside the service manual, a lot of times they don't have these uh, you know, tricks or tips because theoretically, if you do everything perfect, if you have a perfect slide, it's not torn, it's not shrunk, it's installed properly, you've got a good seal, there would be no reason to test it. But let's think about the real world. That's not the case. I mean, things are shrunk, things get tore, things get pinched. Uh, somebody says your name when you're in the middle of installing that slide. Hey, Shane, you're doing this and you're put and you continue to work. And now you've lost your intentional focus on that assembly or that installation. This is just a great way to uh, verify that you didn't pinch it or that you don't have a slide problem. The other thing that's great on multiple cylinders is that by doing this test, you could see a consistency across the board. If you saw him doing this, it draws some concern to go, whoa, wait a second here, what's going on with this? And then you'd be able to address that. I mean, on the motorcycle, it's either going to work or it's uh, not. So a little problem prevention goes a long way. Make it great and keep on wrenching.